Early on in chemistry, we learned simple rules for solubility and miscibility. We commonly use phrases like, like dissolves like, and oil and water don't mix. While these are useful adages, they're not entirely true. As with many areas of science, we find that upon closer inspection, many binary decisions are actually shades of gray. In the case of solubility and miscibility, our rules are highly dependent on the conditions of the system. We'll look at the system of phenol and water to illustrate this point. Here, we've warmed some phenol above its melting point in a water bath and added some water to the top of the same test tube. As we might expect, the highly polar water doesn't want to mix with the weakly polar phenol. But as we start heating up the system, we see a change occur. consulate temperature, we now see a single phase. We can reverse the process by cooling our system down again. You'll notice the reverse direction takes substantially longer than the warming. In fact, we sped up the video again to show the hour-long cooling and re-equilibration process in just a few minutes. Can you think of two reasons why it takes longer to go back to the initial state? on this video and answer the following questions. What keeps phenol and water from initially mixing? Why do the two phases eventually mix? Why does the process appear different in forward and reverse?